Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have an Australian sovereign citizen out of Victoria attempting the script at a Covid checkpoint. But it doesn't go too well for him because, well, his car is coming back as unregistered and the police are not interested in listening to his nonsense. But he is not going to let a little thing like them not listening or reality get in the way of that. Because, well, he's a sausage and sausage, as you know, love nothing more than the sound of their own voice. Let's get into the video. Yeah, good. Once that registration expires, they remain in the system. They just record it as unregistered. Okay. Right. Do you have your driver's license handed to Why? Why would you like because to say that? Because as the driver of the motor vehicle, you're required to provide a, your driver's license. Uh, uh, have I committed a crime? Yes, Do you suspect an unregistered vehicle? And that's not a crime. You, you've just told me the car is registered. As the driver of a motor vehicle, under the Road Safety Act, you are yeah, required to... The Road Safety Act is statutory legislation. I do not consent to statutory legislation. So what, what's the crime I've committed? Because uh, if I haven't committed a crime, am I free to go? Um, you're driving an unregistered motor vehicle. You've just told me it's registered. Yeah, I've just told you this. Uh, yeah. So if I haven't committed a crime, I'm going to be, I'm going to go. Okay, you, you can either provide your license or you can be arrested for failing to do so. That would be false arrest because I haven't committed a crime. Yes, you have. Stat uh, no, that's statutory legislation. Do you understand the difference from statutory legislation to law? I think you're misunderstanding the difference. No, I'm not going to. Because if, if if you said I've committed a crime... Please state your full name and address form. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. No. So if, if if I've actually committed a crime, sure. If I haven't committed a crime, no. The car's unregistered. We need to speak to you about that. As a driver of a motor vehicle in Victoria, you're required to provide your... I'm not, I'm not driving anywhere. You're not driving a car. You're on the road. Driving is a technical, it's a legal term for commercial trade. It's transporting goods and services. What goods and services am I transporting? You are I'm not. I'm dro I'm traveling. No, I'm just traveling. I to provide your driver's license when requested by authorities. Can you please show me the act or the statutory legislation which states that? Can you please present that? That proof? Even if he did show you it, you would just dismiss it because you already think legislation isn't law for some strange reason. But I get it. You want to waste everyone's time. The point is, the police do not have to provide you with the law before they can enforce it. Unless, of course, they want to, but it looks like this cop is not playing, so you're out of luck. Of course, it's on you to educate yourself on the law before sitting in that driver's seat. But there is another reason why you are being cagey about giving your name. And we will find out why this is shortly. You can freely look at your phone. Wait, you're the people trying to enforce it. What's your problem? I'm trying to drive on. Yeah, I'm trying to go through. about my business. Yeah. Where, where is the legal authority to have this this checkpoint yeah. anyway? Andrews has set these up as part of. Did who COVID consented to that? Who Melbourne consented? With the COVID stuff under the <laughs> sure. problem. I just want to drive on. Yeah, leave you guys over. alone to do your job. Pull over now. I pulled over. Over to the side We're, of the road now. Fine. I'll voluntarily pull over. Yeah. Can't get in there, there's a cone. Yeah, move the cone. Stop there. Turn your car off. Mm, I, I don't want to. Fine, I'll turn my car off voluntarily. I think you need to learn what the word voluntary means because this is not the definition of it saying you are pulling over to the side of the road and then turning your engine off after being told to do it doesn't make it voluntary. It's called obeying orders. And you just did it like a champ. There you go. So basically, effectively we've got a couple of options here. So the thing is, if I have not committed a crime... Let me explain. You're not listening to us. Let You're not listening to me. You don't understand the difference between statutory legislation and law. I'm trying to help you here. Your options are... Either you provide your Victorian drive or a driver's license to us, or you state your full name and address to us. My name is James. I go by James. Which which, which name are you after though? Your, your my, my name is James. Yep, that's that's what I go by. Yep. 
Where's your last name, James? I just go by James. Okay. Yeah. What is your full name, James? Look, if you don't... What part of there's only two options available to you do you not understand? There isn't a third where you convince a cop to let you off because your pseudo-legal nonsense worked. But please carry on because this is very entertaining. Don't okay. suspect. Have you? Do, are you? No, is, is this? This the is now turning into an investigative matter. Be arrested. I'll be arrested for what? For failing to provide yep. name and details. Where's my clipboard? Ah, oh, I left it at that. Well, you'll be getting a schedule of fees then, because That's false fine. arrest will be ten thousand dollars and a hundred dollars every minute after that. Because now you're acting as a private civilian. With, you're armed. You are acting as a private civilian. You, because you're a constable, your only job is to protect the peace and to keep the peace. I'm not disturbing the peace. How naive can you be? Keeping the peace is just one element of a police officer's job. They also prevent crime and reduce the fear of crime. They also protect members of the public from people such as yourself, who believe laws aren't real laws and don't apply to them, who then go on to drive around on public roads unlicensed, unregistered and uninsured. Step at the, the moment, no. At the moment, I'm not going to step out of the vehicle. No, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to step out of the vehicle. No, because if I haven't committed a crime, you've got no jurisdiction. I'm not hurting anyone. I just want to drive on and let you be. That's all I want to do. Two things: either you can open the vehicle, or I can break the window. Yeah, if you break it, then I'll take you to court and I'll prosecute you with the full power of the law. Then I will sue you civilly because you would be attacking my vehicle and you'd be you'd be damaging my property. So laws don't apply to you, but you want to use those same laws to prosecute the police. Sounds legit. And anyway, if you refuse the lawful order to step out of your vehicle, then that gives them cause to break your window and remove you. You step out of the vehicle and we can have a perfectly reasonable conversation. I don't need to have a conversation. I don't have to talk to you. Are you sure? I don't have a problem if that's how you want to proceed with things, but you can go to court. Okay. Yeah, sure, let's do that. With a magistrate. Yeah, let's do that then. All right, it's a You've got my number plates. Send, send the court. The number plates no. are suspended. It, it'll have my address there. Now it's registered to a business. Fine, I'll tell you my address so you can send the papers there. No, no, I need your full name and your address, your current residential address. And then I'll be free to go? Then you will receive an infringement for unregistered, which you're more than welcome to take to court. But then I'll be free to go? Absolutely. Okay, I'll comply with that, sure. But as long as I have your word, if I give you those details, yeah, yeah, then I'm free to go? You provide me with That's your, your name word? And address. You got that on camera again? Yeah. Absolutely be allowed to go on your way. Okay, sure. The thing that you'll have to take into consideration that you will be, this vehicle is unregistered. I don't know yeah. why it's coming up to suspended. Generally, sure. it's potentially been purchased and there's been an issue in the purchase. No, it's or my car. Like my car. I can't explain why it's been unregistered without mm -hmm. asking the crates. Sure. All right. So, what is your last name, please? So, my my last name, my corporate name, that's, yeah, the legal name is Bartolo. B A R T O L O. T O L O? That's correct. And first name is James? That's right. And Rangers. What is your date of birth, James? Do you want my address as well? And then I'm free to go. Well, assuming you are legal and you actually have a valid driver's license, I'm sure they will let you go. Let's hope that's the case. Better hope your driver's license isn't suspended or anything. Do you require my address, officer? I will in a moment, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I have to let this do its thing. Fair enough. Unfortunately, James' license is suspended. Well, of course it is. So that's why he didn't want to give his name. He obviously knew his license was suspended, so I tried to make a deal with the cop to let him go before they found out it was suspended. That's a bit sneaky and underhand because you will try to collect on that deal now, knowing that the cop won't be able to let you drive away. How is my license suspended? Well, coming up on here, they has been suspended from... 38605, you got that? 38601, 38601. Yep, and what stations are you guys from? Yep, I'd like that. 
Yep, awesome. And that has my details as well as the station I'm working at. Yeah, because if you try to take my car, then I'll take you both to court and I'll prosecute you That's to the full power of the law. Yep, awesome. That's what I do, and I'll win. You know there's a saying that fits this scenario perfectly. It's called having your cake and eating it. You do know the same laws you say don't apply to you are the ones you want to use to prosecute the police with. Yeah, that's stupid, isn't it? Oh, absolutely win. And I don't want to do that. Let's both avoid that unnecessary trouble. I have not gone to court to have my license suspended. That has not happened. There's no proof of that. Basically, show me the court case number. Show me the date. You don't have to have your license suspended by court. You can be suspended by the penalty notice uh, or by court. Okay, well, show me the actual acts and statutory relation according to you where it says that so I can read over it. If you guys are trying to enforce that, you can't just enforce that and not have any paperwork to back you up because then you're acting as individuals. You're acting as private civilians that are armed then. So, James, have you had any issues around this sort of stuff before? No. No, I, I, I do the right thing. I always do the right thing. I don't hurt anyone. You started off on the right foot today. You wouldn't. Well, you've, you've pulled me over unlawfully and starting to claim allegations that I've done something wrong. I'm not the one standing around with weapons and, you know, harassing people and pulling them over according to Dopey Dan's, you know, false legislations. Like, who consented to that? Where is the power in the people? Where is you people meant to be doing the right thing? Like, do your real jobs. Like, stop being an embarrassment to society. Like, you gave me a word. Once I gave you my name and address, now you're going back on your word. You can't even hold on to that. He said he would let you go. He never said anything about you leaving with the car. That's you manipulating what the cop said. You knew you had a suspended license. Like, Paul, come on, mate. Come on, mate. And you, you are free to go. Yeah. But you just can't take the car. How do you have any authority? You don't have any authority of my car. Yes, we do. No, you don't. I'm traveling. This is my automobile. I do not consent to your little trickery with your legislation. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you need to do some research because you'll have one hell of an awakening. I don't know what, you know, where you stand with your soul. If you think you're actually doing the right thing now, like objectively you're not. Subjectively, you may believe you are doing so. But objectively, is this the right thing you're doing here? Is this what you signed up to do, Paul? Is this what you signed up to do to harass people and form checkpoints for absolutely no reason? No, not for no reason. They've told you why the checkpoint is up. You just don't like the reason. That's on you. Deal with it. No. Yeah, and if you try to pull me out, I'll charge you all. Armed kidnapped, armed assault, armed robbery. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to, you know, completely destroy your careers when we take this to court. Like, there's no point in doing that. But... What are you doing right now? Like, let's just, as your word, I'm just going to go. You forget about it. You get back on with your job. Done. Send all the paperwork you want to do. I'll see you in court. That's it. Fortunately, we can't forget about the fact that you're in a vehicle that's unregistered. It's not unregistered. Your license is suspended. Okay. Vic Roads is a corporation. At most, I've failed to pay a civil fee. That's it. A corporate fee. That's all. It's registered in your system. You have the plates in your system. It's not, you can't tell me it's unregistered when it comes up in your system because it is registered in the system. It's just the, 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 the corporation fee hasn't been paid. That's all. And that's part of the requirement to be able to drive the vehicle on the road. Where does it say that? In the No, it's not. Yes, it is. It says right here in section 30 of the Road Safety Act that it is an offence to drive a motor vehicle on a highway when your licence is suspended. Right. Have a look at high court cases that say driving and travelling is a right, not a privilege. You can't take that away. And when we go to court, you'd find that out. But you don't need to find that out because I'm telling you. Yeah, like we can trust anything you claim. I can say for certainty that no high court cases in Australia say that driving is a right. Welcome to travel on yes. your feet. 
Yeah. They're not in a vehicle. No, I do not consent to getting out of my car that I own to travel along the roads that I own. Who paid for these roads? Hack pay his money. Well, you didn't pay for them. Not two minutes ago, you admitted to not paying your registration fees. And in Victoria, licenses and registration fees pay for the upkeep of the roads. So, no, by not paying your registration, you can't claim to pay for the roads. You know, you can't opt out when it suits you and then opt back in when it doesn't. Where, why would you have authority to do that? If, if I was causing harm and I was driving recklessly and going to hurt someone, fair enough, I agree with you. You can do whatever you want. If I was on drugs or something, sure, absolutely. But and that's and not the case. That's sort of it's not the case. Know, is that the, you know, you're required to make sure that you are safe and able to drive on the road. Yes. That you have a current and valid license. Yes, and I do. You don't at the moment. Well, I wasn't informed of that. Well, I can't. As there was no court case to, you know, take my license away. Why you lost? Why your license has been suspended? Well, no one can. Then that's ridiculous. Well, no, there would be a reason for it. Whether, as I've explained, whether that would be due to an excessive speed, a drink driving, <laughs> drug driving, or some other matter. Nope. But all I no. have in the system at this point in time is that your reg your license has been suspended. Yeah, well, that's a mistake in your system then. It's always someone else's fault with soft sits. And what you can do is then you can send paperwork for me to go to court to actually dispute it in the yeah. real judiciary yeah. system. Sure, I'll be happy to do that. Yep, and that will be part of that process. Yep. That you'll have the opportunity to go and have that argument about why your license has been suspended and the lack of notification that you've received in relation to it and all that type of stuff. Yeah, sure. You'll have absolutely have that opportunity to have that discussion with the magistrate. Mm-hmm. All right, but it doesn't change at the moment the fact that until such time as it's sorted out, you can't drive a vehicle. Off. Well, I'm not going to drive. I'm travelling. So anyway, like, yeah. no. Nah, the... the only way you're travelling is by driving. No. Because driving, when you look up the legal term in Black Law's dictionary, which is the annotations of the Constitution, it describes that driving is a commercial activity, like a taxi driver, a truck driver. It's never applicable to you and me who are just travelling on the road. It's a big difference. And when you look at High Court cases, Supreme Court cases in Australia and in the US, which are precedent, it has been proven by High Justices that it is a right and not a privilege. You cannot do anything to take that away. Did he really just say Supreme Court cases in the US support his right to travel claims in Australia? And for the millionth time, Black's Law Dictionary is used for comparisons, not practice, especially not in Australia. I'm just waiting for him to plead the fifth now. And, you know, for, for your lack of knowledge, when we go to court, if we do, then you will find that out to your detriment. I'm trying to help you here, Paul, because I have researched this. I know you haven't, and I'm trying to help you, mate. I don't want to get you into trouble, you know? I don't want to sue you and then, you know, take everything you have. But if you force my hand, I will, you know? Like, save yourself. Just as your word, boom, I'm going, I'm, I'm going. What? And now that cop replies to that word salad in the best way possible. What? We can have that conversation when it goes to court. That is fine. I have no issues with that. Right, well, you're a risky man. You like the adrenaline. But, yeah. yeah. So, I'm free to go. No, you're not. Come on, okay. hurry up. You're wasting that. my time now. Yes, We've been going for like 20 absolutely minutes. Absolutely free to get out of your vehicle and continue in your travelling by foot. You're unfortunately not able to leave in this vehicle. Paul, mate, I've, I've got to go now. I've got to leave. Paul, I've got things to do today. Am I Paul. Able to just confirm your current address, please? Yes, you can confirm yeah. my address. That's correct. That's correct? Yes. Right. You can send any paperwork you need to there. No. So basically what I'm going to tell you now is basic, um, obviously your license is suspended from the 28th of the 6th, 2020 to the 27th of the 9th, 2020. Alright? From 
on the system, it's in relation to an excessive speed ticket that was received for travelling in excess of... Okay, so have a read of this. This is what I sent for the speed, yeah? Just have a read of that and check over that. And then if you can answer all those questions, fine, perfect. Have a read of that. Have, so, uh, so you have received an infringement, a ticket at some point? I have received an infringement before, yes. Okay, have but, you received one that was, like had on the bottom about suspending your license? No. Not that you're like you were. Not that I'm aware of. No. Pulled over and given anything like. No. That. No. So this letter is in relation to what? Ah, uh, it's got the infringement number on the top. Okay. Yeah. It's got the infringement. Any any of the, the physical tickets that you received? Did you sign the back of that in any way? No. Have you heard it no. Um, no, I sent them this letter, which is just to prove that the. Victoria Fines and Victoria Police have any lawful authority because at, as you understand or you probably don't Victoria Police is actually a corporation it's registered on the Australian Business Register and on, on the Securities and Exchange Commission it is a corporation it is not a legitimate body of government it is a fictitious entity Government departments and agencies are structured as companies for purely administrative purposes to carry out particular roles and projects. This doesn't make them corporations or private companies like Walmart. And as a constable, you should understand that your only jobs are to keep the peace. Everything else you are doing right now is for revenue raising for the corporate masters, the leaders of these corporations. Okay. Sorry, yes, I'm just, I'm just giving you a lesson yeah, because it I'm seems like you don't understand the difference briefly, between statutory now. legislation and law. As I explained, your license is on the system, suspended for that um, duration and for that reason. All right? As a result, because you're driving a vehicle that's got suspended um, registration and your license is suspended, our um, intention is to impound the vehicle. That would be armed robbery again are and I will charge you. you but armed robbery is covered by the Crimes Act which is not law according to you, and you don't consent to them. Also, what if the cop says he doesn't consent to acts? You know, like you did today. What then? Do you see the problem here? Are you willing to get out of the no. vehicle to allow us to do that? No, I'm just going to drive home then. Do you understand that failing to exit the vehicle and allowing us to impound the vehicle is... A hind like basically it's hindering us in our duties and you can be charged with that offence. Yeah, I'll be charging you the same. And I, okay. But for your reference, I don't understand anything you say okay. because that means to stand under your authority. Yeah. So, um, no, it doesn't. So right? what I'm explaining to you is if you fail to actually exit the vehicle and allow us to impound it, you'll be charged with the offence of hinder as well. With hinder. with hinder, how is that an offence? It's basically how is that an offence? That how is that a crime? In the execution of our duties. So your execution of duties is to steal my car. No, it's to impound. It's to what? To physically it's rip me out of my right. own car it's I paid for, and I'm then saying. to steal it when I have done nothing wrong. How does this make any sense in your head? Don't. Let, listen Look. to what I'm telling you. That is our intention. I don't wish to use force to get you to exit the vehicle or yeah, your awesome. partner. Right, that's not sort of what I'm interested in doing, but what Good. I'm telling you is, failing to do that means that you will be get charged with an, another offence as well as the driving while suspended and the uh, um, unregistered vehicle. Yeah, you can charge me with so that, you can charge me with whatever that. you want. I don't understand it, but I'm, I'm, I comprehend. Comprehend, just another way of saying you understand. So, thanks for understanding. You can, but, um, like, yeah. Okay. To understand, if you drive further, then obviously you get charged with driving um, suspended by leaving here as well. Okay, okay, but I'm free to go. Yep. Okay, thank you, officer. Appreciate that. Wait, is there something in front of my car? Alright, thank you. And that's where this one ended. I find it a little suspicious that the video ends at the moment he drives away, because if I wanted to show myself driving away successfully, I would have at least kept the camera going for another 10 minutes or so to show that I wasn't stopped again. Makes me think he was either stopped again down the road and arrested like he was warned, 
or he packed up and travelled home on foot. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, take care and I will catch you in the next one.